Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Roll a Hex. And I am just jamming out to this game. I have oh my gosh. The music of this game is is insane. I love it. I genuinely do love it. Okay. Anyways, without further ado, let is let's just get right into this, I guess. Um Let's put a behemoth down right away, because why not? Um, let's get damage on kill. We'll get that right at the start. Um, and then we'll have a cannon as well. We're just going to have this little setup right here. Behemoth will hopefully help out a little bit. Do, you know, one-shot some of these enemies. Um, while the cannon will kind of just keep us defended just in the case that enemies get a little too close and the behemoth can't deal with them. That's kind of my my plan for this. So yeah, we're just going to keep trying to upgrade and unlock new um new new things, new upgrades, all 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 this good stuff. Oh uh, yeah, see that's that's why we need a cannon right there. Okay, let's... Okay, we may need another cannon. Oh my gosh, we may need more than just a cannon. Oh, things are not... Things are not look, looking too hot right now. Things are looking a little scary. Okay, we'll go for the auto build thing again. Because that's always a good upgrade to get. Especially early on. Okay, I'm building some more cannons because these guys are getting really close. And the behemoth isn't quite able to deal with it yet. Uh, yeah, more projectile speed. That's what we need for the for the behemoth to really come and, come and clutch. Um, any day you want to, like, actually occur auto build, uh, that would be really nice. Auto build. There we go. Finally got some auto build going. Um, random destruction. Um. Go for more projectile. Go for more attack speed. That, that's actually, the, the Pandora's box thing is actually pretty cool. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I would say things are going pretty well so far. I mean, it could be better, but it also could be worse. Much, much worse. So, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy. Kills lower cooldown? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So then, whenever they kill things, it'll lower the cooldown for, uh, for the abilities, so the, this Pandora's box thing will get used more often. Which I think will actually be really nice. Go for resources, because why not? We'll just put, uh, put that guy right there. Why not? Slow on hit? Yeah, we'll go for slow on hit. Uh, more damage on kill. Uh, barrier, increased barrier. So your damage is all... 
yeah, that decreased attack speed. I don't think I can really live with that. So, whoa! Just put a tornado thing down. Holy crap. Go for more damage. Yeah, that Pandora's box thing is insane. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You know, freaking... Call it McDonald's the way I'm loving it. That, I mean... <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm stupid, I know, I know. Uh, we go for more auto build. Attack speed on kill. Yeah, we'll go for attack speed on kill. So we have damage on kill and we have attack speed on kill. So I think that's going to be pretty nice. Especially with like smaller enemies. Um, go for barrier, increase barrier. Whoa, what is happening over there? Oh my, holy crap. So yeah, like with all the little guys, like they can just get quick, quick kills. And I feel like that's just going to be really strong. Is getting like a lot of fast kills, like on small enemies. And then I'm assuming, you know, you... Since you, oh, he, oh, oh, we're getting some different music in here. But no, um, as I was saying, oh, I like the music. Um, we know that should, um, it should stack, I assume, the same way as it would with just normal size enemies, too. Oh, yeah, we got a freaking tornado out here. I think I'm gonna. I don't know. I want to, because I want to explore a little bit more. I'm kind of relying on the auto build to do that for me, um, which I don't know if is actually a good idea, but. I wish attack range. Oh, can you imagine attack range um, on kill? Like, you gain more attack range? Oh my gosh, that would actually be insanely strong. My gosh, there's friggin' rockets shooting out. Okay, yeah, the attack speed, the damage, all these things on kill are... Or, yeah, it's, it's making things really strong. Uh, yeah, more damage on kill. That's gonna be... Oh, gosh. I'm just trying to keep things kind of defended at this point. Okay, yeah. Let's put that guy there. I'll put a behemoth over here, too. So, yeah, alright. I'm just trying to kind of explore, because obviously I'm trying to get through this as quickly as I can. I don't want this to be... Whoa! Okay. Come on. There we go. We got Behemoth. His damage isn't great, but that it'll increase. It'll increase with more kills. That guy. That guy. His. 
Yeah, his kills are off the charts. Okay, um... Go for more projectile speed. Put some barriers kind of like in the front. Because that's where things are going. Okay, yeah. Kill those things. Yeah, this one behemoth is gonna is racking up the kills. This guy right here. And I think that's kind of how it's gonna be. It's like if you put a behemoth somewhere and he's kind of just by himself, he's he's just gonna start racking up kills non-stop. Because, like, obviously there's not really anything near him. Like, with this guy right here, if he can get some kills, he's going to start just racking up the kills. He's going to just be able to rack them up, basically. Um, Automatic barrier, that's what, yeah, that's definitely what I want. Look at all the kills that guy just got. Oh, okay. Oh, no. That was bad. That was really bad. Okay. We're going to start reinforcing this area. Because we need to kind of reinforce around the areas where there's behemoths, apparently. Go for more damage on kills, why not? Jeez, this guy, yeah, he... 4.4k, dang. That guy's up to 1.3. This guy's up to 1. Point, yeah, so like... Some of these areas are just gonna be... Jam-packed. Just dealing a ton of damage. Because they just have behemoths that do tons and tons of damage. And are going to have a really quick attack speed as well. He's down to 0 0.35. Wait. 0 0.3... Is it... Oh... Oh, it's only for two seconds. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. My bad. My bad. I thought that was a permanent attack speed. My bad. Um. Let's, uh, let's go, can I not, okay, guess not. Okay, I'm gonna start putting more behemoths down, I think. Because these guys, it's like they have the damage, but they just can't do enough, um, um. Oh my gosh. No. They just can't deal enough. Like, a, they don't have a high enough attack speed. To deal with the swarm. So I'm trying to build another behemoth right there. There we go. Ooh. 
We'll go with that. So things should start regenerating at least a little bit, which will be nice. Nice to see. I should probably be spacing out the behemoths rather than just putting them right next to each other. I don't know. Like how I'm doing like down here, kind of spacing them out. That probably would be a better idea. Um, let's go for more auto build. Oh my gosh. Um Yeah, see I don't I damage is great and all, but I think I need more attack speed, not damage. So anything that's gonna reduce the attack speed, I don't think that's something I want. Cause their damage increases with kills. Their attack speed on on the other hand is only tempor only temporarily increases with kills. Oh, this area is not looking too hot. Um. Oh my gosh. The abilities, though, are going to be crazy. Um... Guess we can go for that, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's just if I don't have barriers, that's the only that's when it becomes a problem. If I don't if I don't have if my structures lose their shields, then things just start getting destroyed really fast. So the thing is, I have enough damage, I just don't have enough attack speed. And then yeah, some things just don't have enough damage, but... For the most part, I have the damage, I just don't have the attack speed. So I was hoping the Frenzy would do a little bit more than it is, but... I guess it's fine. One. Yeah, we'll go for upgrades for a minute. That's getting destroyed, yeah. Go for more damage on kill. Oh, 
Hopefully that'll help scale them up a little bit faster. for shield regen. Seems like this thing has produced some growth stuff as well. It's destroying the barriers, which is not good. Put some more behemoths down here, I guess. Um, it's already up to five, so yeah, we're just gonna go with this. Okay, we really need to explore more tiles. Preferably a little bit faster than the speed at which we are currently going. Oh, this area is... Yeah, not looking too hot. I mean, it's looking hot with enemies, but, uh... Everything else, not so much. I honestly wonder if the cannons would be better than the behemoths. Because the behemoths have, like, more damage and less attack speed. But if you go for cannons, they have... They, uh, the behemoths also have farther range, though. I don't know. Let's try cannons. Let's try. Let's try putting like cannons up front and seeing what happens. Oh, massive! Oh yeah, this area is looking kind of not great. Yeah, if we could get a bunch of cannons that have high attack damage, then maybe we could we would be fine, but I don't know. They don't have the range, that's the problem. They also don't have the range. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll try putting in more cannons and seeing if that does anything at all. I don't think it really will. Because I think at this point in time, it's probably too late for the cannons to really do anything. I think we're kind of just gonna have to fully rely on behemoths. Because even though cannons have the faster attack speed, it's like, you know, they don't they don't nearly have enough enough damage or or area of effect either. That's that's another big problem is they don't have the area of effect. See now, if they could get enough kills to really bump up their damage. Then they would be way better. If they if if a cannon could do as much damage as a behemoth does, then it would be it would be set. Um but we we don't. We don't have that. But that's the problem. If we could get if we could get something like that, then we would be fine. Maybe that's what I need to do. I need to I instead of going for behemoths to start, I think I need to go for cannons. Um, 
Yeah, see, they just they just do like no damage whatsoever. Compared to the behemoths, they do like no damage at all. Um Honestly, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's see if see if that helps. Like knocking back the enemies. That might actually be way more effective than I think it is. Especially if you have a lot of them. They can knock back the enemies. Okay, okay. This might be the strat. This might be the strat. Have them charge their shots. Go for more damage on kills. Yeah, the, honestly, the only thing that really seems to be doing any damage is, are the behemoths. The cannons don't really seem to be doing very much knockback. Uh, that guy's a goner. Yep, okay. I just cannot seem to... I mean, we have a lot of money now, I guess we could try to just... Just go. Um... We're gonna go with that. Oh, I'm pressing Z, that's why it's doing that. Okay, I'm stupid. Okay. Just gonna spend a ton of money on, on doing this. Because honestly, at this point, not too sure what else to do. Yeah, I mean, the behemoths just, they do so well. It's like, I think the cannons would be a better, the better strategy, but... I, I can't deny that the, the behemoths are, do extremely well. They, they make very quick work of, of huge groups of enemies that the cannons just simply cannot deal with. Oh my gosh, those things go so fast. So yeah, while the cannons have the attack speed, like, they, they just, I don't know. I'm just 
gonna explore as much as I can. Whenever I kind of find an opening, I'm just gonna try to go for it, I think. Oh, gosh. Go for more damage for isolated. Yeah, I'm gonna try to end this quick. As long as there's still... Yes! Okay. Oh, yeah, it allows upgrading cannons into machine guns. Fire more often and their attack speed increases as they fire, but they deal less damage and have less area of effect. Honestly, machine guns might be the better option. I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Roll of Hex. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Me and the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, my name is Sam, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.